Alright guys, like I promised, I would show you guys random pickups, so that's the beginning of this video here. This is something I ordered off Macari. As you guys all know, my um, loose collection of the 64. I'm working on boxes for it. And as you see, there are some holes here for stuff that I've already purchased. So, that's what this is. Um, I purchased these on Macari. The guy... Um, he had a lot of um, what was it, 15 boxes. He wanted $57 for Well, I had 8 of the 15. So he said in his comments he'd break it down for quantities of 3 or more. So that's what I've done here is I put, you know, I, I got 7 of those boxes. Uh, one came with a manual. They're not the best of titles. And I think one of the boxes he said wasn't in the greatest of shape. But... I'd show you, I'm going to show you what I got as I unbox it, and then um, my wife and me, you know, my wife will iron it, and we'll box them all up, and I'll show them to you later before I put them on the shelves. All right. Let's see what I got, because honestly, without looking at a picture or anything, I can't even remember which ones they are now. Oh. Maybe. And this guy, he really, really tightened this up. There we go. All right. They're all nicely individually wrapped. All right. Let's close the knife. First one, this was a rental box at first. I mean, I've got boxes that are in worse shape than this, but this is the Turok 2 Seeds of Evil. It completes my um, Turok's box set. Uh, Will of Fortune, just one that I needed to mark off. The Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey. I've already got the Wayne Gretzky's Hockey 98 box. So, And these boxes are actually in really good shape compared to some of them I usually buy. Uh, NBA Live 99. I think this is, yes, this is the one that I needed the manual for and he had the manual. And last set of boxes. NBA Live 2000. Uh, got a little bit of a crease there, but once I put a, a plastic protection on it, you'll never know it. And NBA In The Zone 99. Looks to be, has a rental sticker up here on top or something. But all in all, those are in good shape. And the last box, the probably the most expensive of the lot, would be Star Wars Battle for Naboo. So, man, wow, this was a really, really nice box. But all in all, I got these seven boxes, 25 bucks. Um, not a bad deal. You figure it up, it's a little over $3 a box. I think this one here on price charting is marked at 10. Turox not a cheap box, so. What's up, guys? Uh, another random pickup video. Um, show you guys some stuff I got here. Uh, remember a couple weeks back on my pickups videos, I said that a local game store had went posted going out of business. Well, um, I was kind of waiting for the sale to dwindle down. It got to 40% off today, and I decided that I'm going to go after the GameCube lot, so that's what this is. This is all GameCube titles um, I got for 40% off. Uh, the 
price of this before the sale was a little over 300 and then after the sale it came down to just just above three no wait, it was 340 before the sale and then came down to just at two so hey that was not bad then i did another purchase over here separately because just how i had to do it but We'll go through these. They're not anything special. None of these titles are. Most of it's just filler stuff. But it's stuff that I wanted to add to the collection. And I had to get sooner or later. So we'll just run through them real quick. Oh, And they're in no particular order. Harry Potter, Harry Potter and the um, Goblet of Fire. Ice Age 2. Uh, Kelly Slater's pro, or Kelly Slater's pro surfing. surfing international international winter sports 2002 Bratz forever diamonds whatever that is beach spikers WWE day of reckoning uh, rainbow six three Spider-Man 2, Starsky and Hutch, Strike Force Bowling, Swingers Golf. I didn't even recognize that title. What a name for a game. Need for Speed Carbon, Meet the Robinsons, Disney's Cars, Naratu, Clash of the Ninja, Clash of the Ninja 2, MC Groove Dance Craze, and it looks like I'll have to find a dance mat soon, Bratz Rock Angels, Chicken Little, Cell Damage, and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Alright, now that we showed you one stack, on to the next one. Harry Potter, Prisoner of Azkaban, Chronicles of Narnia, which one is this? The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, The Hobbit, uh, just says Freestyle, Tony Hawk's Underground, Fairly Odd Parents Breaking the Rules, Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX 2. I actually had this back in the day on the PS2. It's a good game. Ugh. Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen, Sweet Sixteen, um, Ratatouille, Shrek Two, Shrek Extra Large, Fairly Odd Parents, uh, Shadow Showdown, Shark Tale, Winnie the Pooh's Rumbly Tumbly Adventures, World Tour. Looks like it's um, riding scooters around. Open season. Over the hedge. And we messed up when we bought these. Alright, well, that's my fault. I actually bought, I did this so fast, I actually bought two versions of Kelly Pro so Surfer. Can't return it, so I'll be selling that one. Tony Hawk's uh, Underground 2, good thing it was cheap, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, Wrestlemania 18, Wrestlemania 19, and Wallace and Grimace at Project Zoo. So, like I said, we went through them and I didn't, I went through on my phone and I got an app that I used that Tells me what games I have, what what I don't have. So the fact that I, you know, I just got home. We're shooting this video raw, live right now. So the fact that I grabbed a what was it, a six dollar game that was forty percent off twice. Oh well, I'll get rid of it somehow. I'll do something with it. But why it was there? Put true crime in it. Huh? Put true crime in it. Switch it. Hope that's not a real case. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I might just use the case. I don't know. Wife's got a good point. Um, picked up 
Popeye for the Atari. My wife wanted me to pick that one up. I also, um, I know I got a complete 64 collection, but they had this box for the WCW um, Backstage Assault. I mean, the box is in excellent condition. So, it's a complete game. I bought it. It was $15, 40% off that. So, what is that? Five, three, six dollars off. I mean, not a bad price. I, I've got the game and I already had the manual, so I'm going to put that on, out to sell or trade. Do something with it later, but I wanted to add this to my collection. I was real happy about that. Anything I can do to add in those boxes... Then I um, decided to go through their strategy guides. Uh, they had Turok Evolution, real cheap. Gauntlet, Dark Le Legacy. Uh, Metroid Prime 2, Stir of Echoes. And I got Perfect Dark Zero. So I, mean, I like to add old school strategy guides whenever I can. I, I don't know why it is. I love collecting for them. And then this is what we picked up today since it is the release day. I'll be playing this here in just a little bit, folks. The Resident Evil Deluxe version on that PS4. And, hey man, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I do making them. Don't forget to enter the contest if you want to win. Um, just to let you know on a further note, this was, I said it was $216. Well, we, took, we had 45 games here. I had to include the one that I bought a duplicate of. Stupid me. Um, 45 games. So it came out to be $4.80 a game. For some of these GameCube games, it's a little high. But for most of them, that's actually a decent price. A GameCube game, anywhere around $5. Not a bad deal. <coughs> um, now the majority of these are complete, too. You know, this lot over here, it was only like $40 because some of the strategy guys are a little pricey. The N64 box game was, and Popeye was about 5 bucks. So, all in all, it was a nice haul. I hope you guys appreciated the video. Don't forget to leave me a like, a subscribe, and a share. And I'll catch you again here real soon. Thanks.